Welcome to the SoftSafe Test Prep. This is the SoftSafe Manager Practice Test 5. We have gathered another 45 questions with explained answers from the SoftSafe exam providers. So let's get started. Question 1 Which of the following actions does not show one of the five most common risk factors for foodborne illness? A. Keeping your cold buffet bar at 58 degrees Fahrenheit. B. Using a paper towel to open the bathroom door. C. Cooking poultry to 145 degrees Fahrenheit and then serving it. D. Purchasing seafood from the trunk of a salesman's car. And the correct answer is option B. Using a paper towel. To open the bathroom door. Using a paper towel to open the bathroom door is not a risk factor. It is a best practice to avoid cross contamination. Purchasing seafood from someone's car, not cooking poultry to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and not keeping your cold buffet under 41 degrees Fahrenheit are all risk factors. For foodborne illness. Question 2 Which food safety management system might need revisiting if wash dishes that have been put away feel greasy to the touch? A. Pest control program, B. Personal hygiene program, C. Cleaning and sanitizing program, D. Facility design. And equipment maintenance program and the correct answer is option C cleaning and sanitizing program a food safety management system is a collection of procedures and practices in place to prevent foodborne illness dishes that do not feel clean will fall under our facilities cleaning and sanitizing program Question 3. Which choice is not an important function to consider when purchasing a dishwasher for your facility? A. Ability to measure cycle length. B. Ability to measure water pressure. C. Ability to measure water temperature. D. Ability to measure cleaning and sanitizing concentration and the correct answer is option a ability to measure cycle length food service dish machines must have the ability to measure water pressure and temperature and cleaning and sanitizing chemical concentration information about settings should also be posted on a machine and be accessible. Question 4. Backflow occurs because you have a blank. A. Cross hatch. B. Cross contact. C. Cross connection. D. Cross contamination. And the correct answer is option C. Cross connection. Cross connection is a physical link between potable water and dirty drain, sewer or waste water by letting backflow occur. This is the biggest challenge to water safety. The best way to prevent this is to create an air gap separating the water supply outlet from potential contamination. Question 5. Good blank makes areas easier to clean provides a safer facility and may be controlled by local jurisdiction. A. Coving. B. Lighting. C. Caulking. D. Shelving. And the correct answer is option B. Lighting. Lighting intensity measured in lux makes cleaning easier and environment safer to work in. Local regulatory authorities usually require prep areas to be brighter than other areas. 
lighting should be monitored and bulbs should be replaced when needed. Question 6. What is the best way to dry dishes to protect against cross contamination? A. Hand dry with sanitized cloth. B. Air dry on a damp rain board. C. Air dry on sanitized drying rack. D. Hand dry with a freshly washed towel. And the correct answer is option C, air dry on sanitized drying rack. Using a sanitized drying rack to air dry dishes that have been washed, rinsed and sanitized is the best choice provided to protect against cross contamination. Question 7. Blank can be received at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. A milk b jarred sauce c pre shredded lettuce d cream cheese in bulk and the correct answer is option a milk milk can be received at 45 degrees fahrenheit or lower but it must be cooled to 41 degrees fahrenheit or lower within 4 hours Question 8. An improperly boned salmon fillet may lead to blank contamination. A. Toxic. B. Physical. C. Chemical. D. Biological. And the correct answer is option B. Physical. Physical contamination occurs when a foreign object, such as a fingernail or metal shavings, fall into food but also includes naturally occurring objects like bones, seeds or peats. Question 9. You get a new shipment of cleaning chemicals. Put them in the designated area in the chemical storage room. Make sure they are properly labeled and lock the cabinet. What is wrong? In this scenario a locking the cabinet b putting chemicals in a designated area c ordering chemicals from an unsafe source d ordering more chemicals while you still have some in stock and the correct answer is option a locking the cabinet cleaning and sanitizing chemicals must be provided and accessible to everyone at all hours of operation. The chemicals should not be locked away. Question 10. Food service operations must have blank procedures for the cleaning of vomit and or diarrhea. A. Alert. B. Written. C. Non-toxic. D. Informative. And the correct answer is option B. Written. Vomit and diarrhea must be cleaned correctly because they can carry norovirus, which is very contagious. Proper cleaning helps prevent contamination and helps prevent others from becoming sick. Operations must have written procedures for cleaning vomit and diarrhea. Question 11. Which of the following is not included? Among the most recent food code updates regarding cold TCS foods held without temperature control. A. Written procedures have advanced approval. B. Food that exceeds 50 degrees Fahrenheit must be discarded. C. Written procedures must be made available on request. D. Food is labeled with a time. It was removed from refrigeration and discard time. And the correct answer is option B. Food that exceeds 50 degrees Fahrenheit must be discarded. When holding cold TCS foods without temperature control, you now need 
written procedures that must be approved and available upon request from your local regulatory authority. The food temperature must not exceed 70 degrees Fahrenheit while being served. Question 12. Vegetables being held on a lunch buffet must be cooked to blank degrees Fahrenheit. A. 135. B. 145. C. 155. D. 165. And the correct answer is option A. 135. Vegetables being hot held for self service must be cooked to 135 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe. Question 13. Which choice best represents what the FDA now requires the person in charge of a food service establishment to be? A. NSF certified. B. A food handler C certified in food safety D certified in thermometer use and the correct answer is option C certified in food safety the 2017 FDA food code updates now required the person in charge of a food service facility to become certified in food safety. Question 14. The Centers for Disease Control suggest that being certified in food safety reduces blank. A. Pests. B. Foodborne illness. C. Unapproved sales. D. Customer advisories. And the correct answer is option B. Foodborne illness. A CDC study suggests that the presence of a certified food protection manager minimizes the risk of foodborne illness outbreaks for the operation. The study suggests it was a distinguishing factor between operations that experienced an outbreak and those that hadn't. Question 15. Blank can be found in the intestines of cows. A. Viruses. B. Hazards. C. Bacteria. D. Chemicals. And the correct answer is option C. Bacteria. Sugar toxin producing E. coli can be found in the intestines of cows, and these bacteria can contaminate the meat. During slaughtering, this bacteria is also found in infected people. It only takes a small amount to make someone sick. Once the bacteria is eaten, it produces toxins that cause the illness and can be found in someone's feces for weeks after symptoms have ended. Question 16 Your local regulatory authority may require you submit. And blank when applying for a variance. A. HACCP plan. B. Customer advisory. C. Food safety certification. D. Active managerial control. And the correct answer is option A. HACCP plan. When regulatory requirements are to be waived or modified, you must be issued a variance. The local regulatory authority may require a detailed HACCP plan to account for any risk related to the way you intend to enact the variance. Question 17. Which of the following preparations will not require a variance from your local regulatory authority? A. Curing food. B. Pulling eggs. C. Sprouting beans. D. Serving live shellfish from a display tank. And the correct answer is option B. Pulling eggs. A variance is a document given by local regulatory authorities that allow a regulatory requirement to be waived or changed. Packaging fresh juice for on-site sale 
smoking food for preservation using additives to alleviate the need for time and temperature control curing custom processing animals for personal use vacuum packaging foods sprouting seeds or beans and offering live shellfish from a tank all require awareness pulling axe does not question 18 which of this is not a condition in which your local regulatory authority will allow you to continue operating in the event of water or electrical interruption a your operation has a pre approved emergency plan b your operation practices good personal hygiene during the emergency c your operation takes immediate corrective action to eliminate any food safety risk d your operation informs the local regulatory authority upon implementing its emergency operating plan and the correct answer is option b your operation practices good personal hygiene during the emergency 2017 fda food code updates indicates the local regulatory authority may allow a facility to continue operating in the event of water or electrical interruption if the facility has a pre approved plan immediate corrective action is taken to address food safety risk and the regulatory authority is informed once the plan has been implemented question 19 which of the following is not one of the top considerations during an emergency or crisis situation a physical security b temperature control c monetary damages d drinkable water supply and the correct answer is option c monetary damages emergencies like power outages fires flooding and all sewage backups are considered by local regulatory authorities as imminent health hazards significant threats or danger to health that require immediate correction or closure to prevent injury temperature control physical safety and a drinkable water supply are the main considerations during emergency situations question 20 blake is setting tables for a formal banquet he must remember to touch each of the fish knives by their blank a tip b and c blade d handle and the correct answer is option d handle when touching plates cups glasses or silverware for service one touch the non food contact areas always touch forks knives and spoons by the handle question 21 which of this is not a good way to prevent pests in your dry storage area a rotate supplies using fifo b store supplies as soon as possible c keep food and supplies away from walls d keep food and supplies at least 3 inches of the floor and the correct answer is option d keep food and supplies at least 3 inches of the floor food and supplies should be kept at least 6 inches of the floor to help pest prevention question 22 which of these materials is not considered a risk for chemical contamination when used with acidic foods a zinc b pewter c copper d stainless steel and the correct answer is option d stainless steel stainless steel is safe for use in food service copper pewter zinc and some painted pottery are not always safe 
for food and can cause contamination, especially when an acidic food is held in them. Question 23. Which of the following procedures helps minimize time temperature abuse? A. Doubling sanitizing prep areas. B. Placing a limit on prep time for TCS foods. C. Requiring employees to keep record of the time off. D. Requiring employees to wash hands for 45 seconds. And the correct answer is option B. Placing a limit on prep time for TCS foods. Keeping TCS foods out of the temperature danger zone helps prevent time temperature abuse. This could include limiting the time food handlers spend prepping TCS foods or limiting the amount of TCS foods that can be removed from cold storage. Question 24. Which of the following is not considered an action that could contaminate food? A. Rubbing an ear. B. Running a hand through your hair. C. Wearing a glove over a bandaged finger. C. Wearing or coming into contact with a dirty uniform. And the correct answer is option C. Wearing a glove over a bandaged finger. Hands are identified by the FDA as a means to contaminate. So food handlers must be aware of what they do with their hands. Scratching their scalp, pulling hands through the air, wiping or touching their nose, rubbing their ear, touching a pimple or infected wound or boil, wearing an or touching a dirty uniform or apron, coughing or sneezing into the hand or spitting inside a facility are common actions to avoid. Question 25. Jane sets tables for dinner service. She puts rolls of silverware at each setting and cups her hand over the tops of glasses to put them on a clean table. She lights a small candle in a glass container and makes sure each chair is pushed in. What went wrong? A. Lighting candles too early. B. Cupping a hand over the top of a glass. C. Using glass containers to hold lit candles. D. Putting a roll of silverware where there may not be a guest. And the correct answer is option B. Cupping a hand over the top of a glass. When handling dishes, cups, glasses or silverware, Servers should never touch the food or drink contact surfaces with their hands. Jane should handle glasses by their base or bottom and never by cupping her hand over the top. Question 26. Mark is mixing salad greens with gloved hands. He stops to get a larger bowl. He takes his gloves off so they won't become contaminated by the bowl. He puts the discarded gloves back on before handing the ready-to-eat lettuce. What went wrong? A. He mixed salad greens with his hands. B. He didn't start with a big enough bowl. C. He took too long mixing the salad greens. D. He took his gloves off and put the same ones back on. And the correct answer is option D. He took his gloves off and put the same ones back on. Clean hands can be a great tool when handling RTE foods. You should always wear gloves, but gloves should never be removed and put back on. Once you remove a pair of gloves to change tasks or something else, you must put a fresh pair back on. Question 27. 
if you are packaging your own reduced oxygen packaging fish the fish must be frozen blank a after packaging b before and after packaging c before and during packaging d before during and after packaging the correct answer is option d before during and after packaging frozen fish may be purchased in reduced oxygen packaging that separates each fillet or you may want to package your own rop fillets in house if you are doing so the fish must be frozen before during and after packaging and include a label that states the fish must remain frozen until used question 28 which of the following is not a known group to watch out for when it comes to the deliberate contamination of food a vendors b the elderly c competitors d disgruntled staff and the correct answer is option b the elderly people trying to contaminate food on purpose using biological chemical or physical contamination or radioactive materials could include terrorists or activities disgruntled staff both current or former vendors and competitors and it could happen at any point in the food supply chain food defense programs are created to combat this possibility question 29 when properly concentrated a chlorine sanitizer solution in both 75 degrees fahrenheit and 100 degrees fahrenheit water of the correct ph needs a contact time of at least blank seconds a 7 b 15 c 30 d 45 and the correct answer is option a 7 chlorine sanitizer solution in both 75 degrees fahrenheit and 100 degrees fahrenheit water of the correct ph and water hardness mixed to the correct concentration needs at least seven seconds of contact time to be effective question 30 to protect against parasites make sure fish that will be served raw or undercooked has been properly blank by the manufacturer a cooked b frozen c certified d sanitized and the correct answer is option b frozen the best way to protect against foodborne illnesses from parasites is to purchase commonly associated foods from approved and reputable suppliers. Fish that will be served raw or undercooked is to have been properly frozen. Question 31 Which of the following is not? One of the FDA's specific recommendations for controlling common risk factors for foodborne illness A. Adequate knife skills, B. Consumer advisories, C. Demonstrating knowledge, D. Time and temperature procedures for pathogen control. And the correct answer is option A. Adequate knife skills fda public health interventions are specific recommendations for the control of foodborne illness due to common risk factors demonstrating knowledge controlling the staff's health controlling hands as a means of contamination time and temperature control procedures and consumer advisories are fda public health interventions Question 32. Which of the following is an example of active managerial control? A. Installing hooks in the bathroom. B. Training servers on how to upsell. C. Negotiating 
low prices with your supplier. D. Monitoring a staff member as they cool hot foods. And the correct answer is option D. Monitoring a staff member as they cool hot foods. Active managerial control is the manager actively controlling the most common risks to food safety as well as other risk factors that will contribute to foodborne illness. It is proactive rather than reactive, anticipating and planning for risk to food safety. Question 33. When partially cooking a food, you should blank the food immediately after initial cooking. A. Cool. B. Rest. C. Store. D. Freeze. And the correct answer is option A. Cool. Cool the partially cooked food immediately after initial cooking using proper cooling techniques. Question 34. Alice cleaned the prep sink with spray cleaner. She puts the cleaner on the shelf over the sink, then sanitizes the prep sink and leaves it to air dry. Which of the following is the best next step? A. Alice goes home for the evening. B. Alice moves the cleaner to the floor. C. Alice puts the cleaner on the counter. D. Alice returns the cleaner to its proper place in chemical storage. And the correct answer is option D. Alice returns the cleaner to its proper place in chemical storage. A food service chemical should never be stored above food or food prep areas. Commonly used chemicals such as a bucket of soapy water or sanitizer solution can be left below food or food prep areas. Alice should return the chemical to its proper storage area. Question 35. Air drying food prep surfaces once you have cleaned and sanitized them as opposed to using a towel is a way to protect against what common risk factor? A. Cross contamination. B. Poor personal hygiene. C. Time temperature abuse. D. Ordering from unsafe sources. And the correct answer is option A. Cross contamination. Air drying items or surfaces once they have been cleaned and sanitized helps protect against cross contamination. Question 36. An allergic customer breaks out in heaves in the middle of their meal. This could mean that blank has occurred. A. Cross contact. B. Cross contamination. C. Poor personal hygiene. D. Time temperature abuse. And the correct answer is option A. Cross contact. Heaves are a symptom of an allergic reaction. If an allergic customer breaks out into heaves, this could mean that despite your best efforts, cross contact may have occurred. Alert emergency services and then your manager. Question 37. Which of the following prevention measures has a known association with Cigela SPP? A. Clean up vomit immediately. B. Control flies inside your facility. C. Purchase shellfish from approved sources. D. Cook ground beef to its minimum internal temperature. And the correct answer is option B. Control flies inside your facility. Controlling flies inside and outside your food service facility is a known prevention measure for the bacteria Shigella SPP. Cooking ground beef to its proper internal temperature is a prevention measure for 
Shiga Toxin, producing Scarisha coli, purchasing shellfish from approved sources, and cleaning warm it up immediately are prevention measures for viruses. Question 38 Jay clears the table he has been serving so it can be burst and cleaned. He takes the basket of uneaten bread, the open foils of butter squares, the bottle of used ketchup, and the small bowl of half eaten salsa. Which of the following can be reserved to another table of customers? A. The open butter foils. B. The bottle of used ketchup. C. The uneaten bread basket. D. The ball of half eaten salsa once it's been poured into a fresh bowl. And the correct answer is option B. The bottle of used ketchup. You may reuse unopened prepackaged items in good condition, including condiment packets, wrapped crackers, and bottles of ketchup, mustard, and other condiments when the containers are closed but when uses. You cannot reserve uneaten bread, open condiment packets, or sauces not served in their original containers. Question 39. Your staff should be trained in food safety upon hiring and then retained how often? A. Yearly B. On an ongoing basis C. As the FDA food code updates D. Each time management changes And the correct answer is option B. On an ongoing basis Food service managers must understand food safety and create and implement practices that ensure food safety in their operation. Managers must train their staff on food safety when hired and on an ongoing basis to help minimize the chance of foodborne illness. Question 40 Purchasing your seafood from a supplier that has been inspected. As a way to minimize your chance of parasites, helps control what common risk factor? A. Poor personal hygiene. B. Holding food incorrectly. C. Using contaminated equipment. D. Buying foods from unsafe sources. And the correct answer is option D. Buying foods from unsafe sources. Purchasing a food known to be associated with parasites like seafood from an approved and inspected supplier helps control the common risk factor of purchasing food from unreliable sources. Question 41 Gabe is taking out the trash. He moves the trash can to the food prep table and pulls the bag. Of garbage out. He sets it on a table to tie it tightly closed. He takes the bag out to the dumpster area and opens the lid. He throws the trash inside and closes the lid. He comes back inside and washes his hands. What did he do wrong? A. He tied the trash too tight. B. He put the trash on a food prep table. C. He didn't wash his hands before handling the trash. D. The dumpster lid was closed when it should have been open for circulation. And the correct answer is option B. He put the trash on a food prep table. Gabe should not have put a bag of trash onto a food prep table. Garbage should be kept away from food. And fruit prep areas at all times. He didn't need to wash his hands before removing the trash. The bag should be tied well to prevent leaks. And outside trash containers should have tight fitting leads and be kept covered at all times.
Question 42. Which of the following does not need to be included on a master cleaning schedule? A. List of all areas to be cleaned. B. Clearly written instructions on how to clean. C. Cleaning chemical prices lowest to highest. D. The specific staff member assigned to clean the area. And the correct answer is option C. Cleaning chemical prices lowest to highest. Though you may want to keep a list of inventory items and the cost, cleaning chemical costs are not necessary on a master cleaning schedule. A master cleaning schedule is intended to develop an effective cleaning program for your facility. Question 43. Employees working near food may drink from blank container if they Handle it carefully to prevent hand container exposed food utensil and equipment contamination. A. Prep. B. Frozen. C. Plastic. D. Covered. And the correct answer is option D. Covered. A properly covered container can be used if handled carefully and in avoidance of contamination. A covered container should have a lid with a straw or sip lid top. Question 44. Non-food contact surfaces do not have to be blank. A. Cleaned. B. Certified. C. Sanitized. D. Included. And the correct answer is option C. Sanitized. Surfaces that don't normally come to contact with food or non-food contact surfaces include floors, walls, ceilings, and equipment exteriors. They should be cleaned regularly to prevent dust, dirt, and food residue like grease buildup, but they don't have to be sanitized. Question 45. Which of the following is not a situation where ready to eat food must be discarded. A. When it's been sneezed on. B. When it's been handled by tongs. C. When it's handled by an employee that's been excluded from work. D. When it's exceeded the time temperature guidelines meant to keep it safe. And the correct answer is option B. When it's been handled by tongs. Food made unsafe must be discarded unless it can be safely reconditioned, like a hot food being reheated to a safe condition. Ready to eat food should only be handled by gloved hands, tongs, or deli sheets. Once handled by a sick employee, contaminated by Bodily fluids like sneezing or exceeding its time temperature guidelines, ready to eat foods must be thrown away. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share it with your family and friends.